vibe been like in the facility this week? Um, yeah, Sunday Monday was definitely tough, just coming off for a loss. Um, but I think yesterday and today, um, you know, just kind of turn around and and uh, and look to the next week and excited to go play football again. Um, excited to go, uh, you know, win a game and um, you know it's, it's fun to challenge ourselves and, and see what we can continually get better at and uh, look at the man in the mirror. And uh, but you know it's been it's been great energy the last two days. We had a great practice yesterday and Monday, so um, just continually chasing. Yeah. Said you're just going to try to kick every day's butt. I mean, what does that actually look like for you? Um, <clears throat> I think just keeping a good vision um, and, and, and truly just keeping the task at hand. You know, what do I need to get done today, but how can I do it at a very, very high rate um, and not let a day slip away from me? You know, not, not let my mind get distracted and let, let things, um, you know, outside noise creep in. But, you know, today I'm. You know, I'll be here from, you know, 7 a.m. to 10 p.m. and I'll do everything I can to go be the best I can be and get this team ready to go win on Saturday. And then, um, you know, that's kind of my version of, of how I'm going to win today. So, yeah. To watch the film, what were some of the things that went wrong against Louisville? Yeah, um, <clears throat> I think offensively, um, you know, we had, a, I think, about 104 plays. Um, which is great uh, looking outside in, and it's good to have that many plays. But um, I think we also had 29 third downs. Um, and to have that as an offense, it means you're not doing great on first and second down. So really, you know, P and 10, first play of the drive um, of just getting positive yards. And it was, you know, I kind of said the same thing coming off of Georgia. Um, hey, let's just get drives going. Uh, let's just get some positive things. And, um, and that's not you know, on one person. So just kind of getting drives going, doing doing a little bit better on, on getting first downs going, getting better on first downs. And um, I think that was probably one of the big things. And then just, you know, we had some, we had some big, you know, 12, 13, 14 play drives um, that we didn't get points away with. Um, and that's, you know, that's tough and a little bit deflating at times when you put together a, you know, five minute drive um, with 13, 14 plays, and you're busting your butt all the way down the field, and then you don't get anything out of it. So that's definitely tough. So you got to be able to finish on those and just do better. Um, and then you got to play complimentary football. You got lack from the passing explosive plays that, you, that fans have kind of gone accustomed, gone accustomed, accustomed to during the season, I guess. What, what were Louisville doing that kind of like negated some of those explosive passing plays? Um, it's playing heavy, heavy outside leverage. Um, and then their, their safeties were just, they're hauling butt out of there. Um, so we just kind of had to kind of pick them apart at times and um, kind of take some more intermediate stuff and, um, and kind of take advantage of that. So, um, but they're just playing heavy outside leverage and the safeties were getting way out of there. So, you know, it's tough to, to throw the ball deep with that happening. For you, you spoke about in the offseason kind of being a leader and when things going well as well as things going bad. Uh, for Absolutely. you, how, how did you kind of lead the team after the, that, this tough loss this past Saturday? Yeah, uh, you know, I had some good talks with the guys, um, you know, on after the game with our offense and just telling them who I'm going to be for you all and just challenge them to be the same for me. And, um, you know, I was up here from like, I don't know, 12:30 to seven, and just I think the one thing that I've kind of learned is you've you can't just push away the feelings, right? You can't just go home all day Sunday and just go hop on the game and uh, go play Xbox for eight hours and then just come to practice on Monday and act like it didn't happen. Like you really have to accept it. You got to accept the feelings, accept the anger, accept the you know the emotions that come with that, and and like truly be like, okay, like this happened. And then when I got to leave Sunday night. Like I had accepted it and I flushed it and I learned what I need to get better at and how we need to push this team to go be better. Um, and I think that that's something I just learned last year is truly learning how to accept it and then flush it and move on. And I think that I got to show up on Monday and show up yesterday and show up today just with a, a really high energy um, and just a, a continual want to. But not a, you know, I challenge the guys just, you know, just, you know, we don't have to show up with a, a tense mindset. Like we were, we've been very successful this year, um, at, at many at many times. Um, so let's just let's go practice and do the routine things very, at a very high rate. 
um, and that we don't have to show up and be tense and be, you know, all just tight um, in practice. Like, let's just go work our butt off and go get better for two hours every day in practice and then go get better in film and do all this. Um, and then just put a little bit more, stay a little bit later, get here a little bit earlier and stuff like that. So. Is it too much, though, just considering the circumstances and just now things aren't in your control? Like, how, how, how have you been able to do that, I guess? Um, yeah, I think that it's, it's, it's easy to think about the outcome a lot. Um, and I think that that's just something you really got to just train your mind and say off everything, but just focus on the task at hand and just, you know, we're not in full control of our destiny anymore. And that's a tough thing to accept. Um, but we, we are in control of of going to play the best game we can this week and, and forgetting what happened last week, but um, but still learning from what happened last week. You know, we don't let it linger into this week. So, um, you know, learning from it and taking advantage, taking advantage of the things that we did learn from it and then being able to just move on in a sense, you know what I mean? Not let one become two and just, you know, let's go play our, get or let's go play our best game on Saturday, so. Seems like in that first half there was an effort to get you involved with your legs on the ground, whether design or just you know, play breaks down and you're making plays. Is that something maybe you could take from that first half in the remainder of the season moving forward? Sorry, did you say that there was or wasn't? Uh, there, was, there was. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> yeah, I think that there was definitely some uh, some opportunities to run it, and we knew that. And um, you know, I think that's something that's definitely been our priority more this year and something that I've gotten better at and knowing when to do it and knowing when I need to and then also just reacting at times. But um, I think that we'll continually work on that, but not, you know, we've also got seven back there, so he can run it pretty well. Um, so take advantage of both of them for sure. Any questions from Zoom? Any other questions in the room? In terms of the offense, Virginia Tech, what do you what do you want to see compared to last week? Um, just doing the routine things, you know, just being very <clears throat> guys, just being locked in on the plan, and um, you know, we had a couple of MAs that we haven't had this year, um, kind of all over, but uh, just being locked in on the plan and, and knowing it, and just being very, just executing at a very high rate. Yeah, I would say that, and just let's go play ball, man. We don't we don't got to press. Let's just go play ball and. And let's go lead them, and it's going to be a fun place to play. And, uh, you know, love playing on the road, so let's go. Bouncing off of that, do you think that trying to find that, that, that explosiveness that was kind of the lack for the last week, is that kind of the part that you're going into looking at Virginia Tech next week? I've had an explosive place back to two minutes. That was missing. Um, yeah, I mean, we'll definitely finalize, you know, the plan more and more today. Um, but I think that's, you know, you always want to have explosive plays, and that comes in very – uh, in various different ways. So um, everybody wants that, and we always want to challenge our guys to have that and um, want to challenge myself to have those plays whenever they do come. But, you know, in, in big-time games like that, they're definitely going to be made. But I think that what really wins games is execution. Um, and we didn't execute at a high rate like we needed to last game. Um, so. What have you seen from that Virginia Tech defense? Watch the film. Yeah, great front. Um, you know, very explosive front, and, and they got some dudes up there. Um, you know, I think that probably one of the best teams we best defenses we played this year. Um, you know, great backers, good secondary. Um, so you know, we'll do some good things um, on the back end for sure. Do some good things up front, and um, it's a, it's definitely an exciting matchup. And um, you know, excited for the for the plan that we have, and just continually getting ready for it for sure. High uh, 56 passing attempts. Um, is that the most you ever thrown in like high school, <laughs> little league? That you ever thrown? Um, maybe. I don't know. To be honest. <laughs> you feel, I guess how was your arm after throwing that, throwing the ball that many times? Uh, oh, it was, yeah, it was good. I mean, I'll throw way more in practice. Yeah. So yeah, I was good. Yeah. Oh yeah. Awesome. Any other questions? Thank you, Kate. Appreciate y'all. Thank you. Thank you.